Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lottie and today we have a really highly requested routine. It's an upper body Pilates routine. So I've just chosen loads of exercises that I love that really work the upper body. So the arms, the shoulders, your back, your waist, your obliques. So kind of like everything from up, but really focused on that sort of back connection, shoulder and arms. So great for your posture great for your upper body strength. I hope you enjoy it. At the end, we're going to do some really lovely stretches as well. So you know you've got that coming, but it's going to be hard work before we get there. So let's begin with some walkouts just to kind of warm up through the shoulders and through the core. So coming onto your mat, into your all fours. First of all, just take a lovely extension, lift the chest, send the sit bones back, and then a little rounding through the spine. So just warming up that spine. Let's do one more. Inhale as we lift and exhale as we round. So just keep the breath flowing and we're gonna get moving. So stepping into your plank position already, I want you to just really feel that arm to the back, to the shoulders, to the core connection. Step one leg back, step the other leg back. We don't wanna be sinking into the shoulders, push them out away. We're gonna to start to walk in towards the legs. So little steps with the hands, try and keep the pelvis nice and still. Now your knees might need to bend, that's fine. Zip up through the core and start to walk out. So warming up through that upper body into that plank, tailbone and head reaches away. We're coming in again. So we're gonna walk in, just breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth and walking out. Try and keep those abs zipped up, work into that back, find that low plank position and walking in. Good. So just controlling our movements through the upper body, warming up into that core and into the shoulders. Nice and strong. Let's go one more. Little steps. We're just walking on our hands basically. Coming back in nice long neck and then step it out. Now we're gonna hold this plank position. So a nice strong connection down the back to the shoulders, pull up through the abdominals. We're taking little toe taps out to the side. So we're feeling stamina and stability in the upper body. Try not to shift left to right as we take these little steps, tiny little steps left to right. Good, you're working the obliques, the back, the core, lower abs, shoulders, arms, Everything is working. One more to each side, little toe taps, and bring those knees down. Good, have a quick rest. Now this is gonna feel like hard work through your shoulders and your upper body, so rest whenever you need to. Take it at your own pace and level, and just do what you can, okay? You can always come back to it, try the routine again, build up that strength, and see how you get on. So we're on all fours, and we're going to take a little modified version of this exercise and then we're gonna go into the full thing. So, I want you to bring your right arm back alongside you. Now what you wanna do there is not twist, you wanna keep both shoulders nice and square. The arm is gonna do a circle up by the ear, don't move anything else, bring it back to the hip, bring it down. So doing a little semicircle forwards, a little semicircle back and down. Okay, now this is where you can just stay to practice. Reach it back, bring it down. Core is engaged, the arm sweeps, we push away. So you're sort of constantly feeling about connecting to the ceiling. I'm trying to reach up, we're not looking forwards. We've got a nice long neck, core is engaged. Focus on a rib to hip connection. I can already feel my arms. This is gonna be, this is gonna work those arms. Good, now, the full version here, guys. We're stepping into a plank. So we go one leg back, other leg back. I'll go quite wide with my feet. I'm gonna do the same exact thing, but take it into a side plank. So right arm goes back. We twist to the side as the arm comes up by the ear. You come into that side plank. Now we're gonna go back. One arm goes back, bring it down, <laughs> okay? Other side. Back here, twist into that side plank, bring it back. Bring it down, good, arm comes back. Now try not to rush it, okay? I want you to think about coming to that position and then down. So we keep the pelvis still, we arm goes back, we rotate, we bring it through, we bring it down. Whew, okay, don't worry, it's not all planks. We've got some other stuff coming up. We're just starting strong. One more to each side. Feeling, oh, I went a bit too quick there. 
It's so easy to kind of cheat because you, you want it to be easier. Good, bring it in, have a little stretch, sit back, give your shoulders a roll. We're just gonna come in some little press ups. This is one of my favorite exercises. But we're adding a cheeky extra arm work to the end. So back to all fours. We're gonna come into our one leg press ups. So right leg is gonna slide back, both hips face down. So you wanna think about pulling up through that center. Right leg lifts. So we're just gonna do six press ups. Elbows come into the rib cage and pushing up, working into the triceps. Back leg is long for five, for four, for three, for two. Now this is where it's gonna get hard on those arms. We're gonna hold it halfway, pull in. We're gonna do little circles with that back leg, but we're holding that half press up for five, for four, for three. Go forwards with the nose, two, I can feel it. Reverse, just five in each direction, five, four. Keep reaching that leg, three, feel those arms, two, and one, push up, bring it in, wowzers. That is hard work, we've got the other side to do. So left leg reaches back, we've got six press ups. And in, oh, I can really feel it. Now you might find that one arm is kind of working more than the other. Now that's kind of normal, because obviously we're on one leg, but try and keep it really in the middle, really centered, using both arms at the same time. Good, let's go for three. This is gonna be tough, two. I can feel those triceps. Last one we hold. We've got five, four, shoulders back, three, two, long neck, one. Let's go reverse, five. Feel that sweat coming on, four. You can always reset. We've just got three more, three, two, one, push up and bring it in. I'm sorry about that one, that's really hard. <laughs> but that's a good one to kind of test as you get kind of um, stronger and you'll feel you'll be able to hold it with more stability. So we're coming off of the hands and knees now. You'll be thankful, let's just give the shoulders a roll, but we're coming into a seated position and we're gonna continue to work our arms and our posture. So just sit cross-legged or soles of the feet together. Whatever's comfortable for you, you might wanna sit on something. We won't be here for too long, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach the arms to the side. So crown of the head up to the ceiling, arms reach to the side. We're just gonna to start to make little circles without moving the rest of the body. So you're reaching the arms, long neck, shoulders are down. Now this is where you might wanna hold on to little hand weights or cans of food or whatever you've got. And the other day I was using coasters, quite heavy like marble coasters. And that was really hard actually. Um, so if you wanna add that little bit of extra weight, but do you know what, this is just as hard without holding on to anything, so you're still gonna work. So keep going, we've, got, we've, we've changed direction by the way, I was talking a lot there, but we've changed direction, so we're going the other way. So what you don't wanna do is let the whole body move around, yeah. You wanna keep that tall spine. Good. Now we're gonna go one palm up, one palm down, soft bend and change. So we did this in my postural, Routine, lift tall, really great to work through the shoulders and into that posture. Good, and if you're holding onto weights, this is a killer. Let's keep going, growing tall, drawing in through the abdominals. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, zoning out, three, <laughs> two, and one. We're gonna go both palms up. We're just gonna come in and out and in. I know you're gonna start to feel this working, especially because we've done, well, this is the thing when we focus just on one kind of body part. It starts to really work as we move through the routine. Good, keep trying to just focus on that lovely Pilates calm breath. We've got five. Really lovely, bring the elbows in for four. Three, two, one, and rest. Good work, guys. So we're coming into our 
back support into a little teaser. So a little bit of core coming in here. We're gonna go hands behind ourselves. We're gonna come into this little table position. So feet are hip distance apart, hands are back behind the shoulders, roll the chest open, and we're going to lift up into a bridge. So soft elbows, don't completely lock them out. Breathe in as we breathe out, stand into the feet, roll those hips up into a little table position. Squeeze the bottom, come down, and then just lift your feet and your arms. So control with the abdominals, lift the feet and the arms, a little modified teaser, and bring it back. Okay, that's the exercise. So we're gonna come up, Open the shoulders, we're gonna come down, lift the feet, take the hands off if you can. You can always keep the hands on, just lift the feet. Roll the chest and shoulders open. So really lovely stretch for the upper body, for the chest. You could just go here without taking the arms off. I've got three more, so six in total. Use that core if you can, without dropping back, take the arms away. Stand into the feet. You're really gonna feel these shoulders later, tomorrow maybe. Last two. And into the triceps. Good, as you get tired, keep working the breath, keep working the core. Last one. Good, find that little balance and bring it down, good. Okay, we're gonna come into some side plank, of course, onto our elbow. Now, you've got a couple of options here. If you're not quite ready for the full side plank, just keep your knees bent and your knees down. If you wanna go for the full version, you can have your legs out straight, stack the feet or stagger the feet. I don't mind wherever you feel that you can really maintain a good position. So right elbow is under the right shoulder. We're long through the spine. We're coming into a side plank, we're lifting. So we're working all through the arm, the shoulder, the back, the waist, the core. We're here, we're gonna do a little dip, lift, thread the needle, open up. We've got six. Dip, lift, thread the needle. So we've got that lovely rotation for four. Thread and open. Keep going, if your knees are bent, you're here. Three, rotate and open, two, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, dip, lift, rotate, oh my goodness, open and relax. Good job guys, gently release from that shoulder, come into a side mermaid stretch before we do the other side, lift up and over, and release down, give your shoulders a little roll, and then sawing the legs to the other side. So again, you wanna go modified version, both knees bent, or you could go both feet stacked. I'll try it there this time. I find it a little bit harder to balance. We can always stagger the feet as well. So we're lifted. The most important thing I want you to think about is that you're not collapsing into this shoulder. So hold on, you can even hold there. Lift yourself up, connect into the back, from the back of the shoulder, into the back, into the core. We're lifting up, we're gonna go Dip, lift, long neck, thread the needle, open. Dip, lift, thread the needle, open. Four. Breathe, three. Good, I'm nearly there, try not to rush. Good, it's all about slow, deep, controlled movements. Got one more. You can do it. Ooh. And rest down. And we fell on that last one. So just stagger the feet again into this little zigzag. Let's take a side stretch. Lift through that spine. Reach over. We're going to come into a little bit of back work. Working on our upper body, our upper back. So we're going to come into a diamond position on the front. So coming around onto your tummy and just have your legs parallel hip width apart, relax down on the mat. Hands are in a diamond shape, arms are in a little diamond shape. Rest the head down. So just check when you're on your front, you're not collapsed through the middle. So you wanna gather the ribs, lengthen the lower back, long neck. And we're just gonna float the head up, connect into the back of the shoulders. On the inhale and on the exhale, come down. So just work in head, then neck, then kind of between the shoulders, 
and then exhale down. We're going to do five with the arms down, and then we're going to do five, add in a little arm lift. So two more here. Inhale, try not to collapse through the waist. Exhale. Now, hold. We're going to lift the arms really hard on that back. And then bring everything down. So we're just adding the arms. We're lifting. Don't let it sink. So keep the height. Keep the support. Float the arms. And bring it down. Good. Last three. And bring it down. Last two. Now you don't have to come high. And bring it down. We're nearly there. Now we're going to hold this last one. So lift it up. Connect into the center, arms float, arms reach out, legs go apart, lift the arms and legs. We're going to come in and out and in and out. So you're doing like a little star, work the shoulders down the back. We've got four, we've got three, we've got two, we've got one. We hold that star, little swim in, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, rest it down. Well done, good legs together. Use that upper body to push yourself up, rock back. Now we're gonna come into a little downward dog press up. So yes, we're still working the upper body. We're nearly there. So we're gonna come into this downward dog shape. So bring your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, draw through your abdominals, push yourself up into downward dog. You can have your heels lifted. We're gonna be focusing on the length of the spine. The elbows this time are gonna go out to the side as we press up. So long back, we're gonna inhale, bend, exhale, push up. Now you don't have to touch the floor with your head. Mine definitely doesn't. We wanna keep that lovely stability through the backs of the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, crown of the head reaches down. Inhale and exhale, elbows go out to the side. Inhale and exhale, last five. Last four, check you're working evenly through both arms, tailbone up, last three. Working those arms, upper body, last two. Good job, guys, last one. And bring those knees down, come onto your elbows. So nice, we're nearly there. This is our last one, then we're gonna go into some lovely upper body stretches. So we're gonna come onto our plank, we're gonna find a little hover. We're going to step our feet back into a little plank position. We're going to do a little shift forwards and back for 10. Draw through the abdominals. Nine, work into the shoulders. Eight, triceps. We've got seven, like you're trying to kiss in front of your hands. Six, five, scoot through those abdominals for four. Little rocking through the feet for three. We're nearly there for two. For one, and bring the knees down, bring your body all the way down. Good, we're gonna come into a little stretch. So just hold him onto your front. You're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna reach to the inside of your ankle. Now you might wanna do one leg at a time and just have a little stretch, keep your thigh down, lift your upper body up, or you're gonna bring both legs up. So bring the other leg up. I want you to go on the inside of your ankles so that we get this nice openness through the shoulders. Then you might just stay here, or you're gonna lift that upper body, look forwards of your mat, and then maybe lift your thighs, push your feet into your hands, come into this lovely rocking stretch, open through the shoulders, breathe, opening that chest, lifting your thighs, Inhale, exhale, release all the way down. Bring the arms out to the side. Lift your right leg up, cross it over your left. Look to your right. So you're stretching through that left shoulder. Bring it back to the center. Lift your left leg, reach it over. Get that lovely back stretch, rotate through the shoulders and bring it back. Good, interlace the hands behind you and roll your shoulders open, reach your hands back to your feet. Dart forwards. Roll the shoulders open, get that lovely stretch across the front. 
and bring it down. Bring the hands back. Use that upper body. Push yourself up. Good job. Not very good at saying those simple words today. So just come to a seated position for me. Just come into cross-legged, whatever's comfortable for you. We'll just take a seated side body stretch to finish. So lift tall, feel all that good work in your posture. Arms to the side, bring one arm up and over and just stretch into that waist. Inhale, lift tall, exhale over. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale, just nice and calm. And float it back. Well done, guys. I hope you are feeling that upper body, feeling nice and strong. Remember, just do what you can. Even if you were only able to do parts of it, that's fine. Just keep building up. Come back to the routine when you feel ready. And I hope you have a lovely day. Let me know if you enjoyed this in the comments below and let me know what else you'd like to see. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye.